you guys for harmony here. Uh, Representative Bree, Senator White, and Mr. Marcus all joining us in the studio. And what an auspicious occasion this is because we're, we're doing a bit of a celebration today. This is a little different for us, Dave, than, than normal for our normal Thursday visit, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? That's okay, though. Yeah, it absolutely is. Because I know these two guys have already provided their $5,000, and I'm still waiting for you. Well, I've been waiting for somebody to call me to come down here and bring the check. You know, the invitation from the other half of town. I mean, I guess I'm on the wrong side of 6th Street down there. Uh, but no, I look, I, I think we're so blessed to have Renda Broadcasting and what uh, the, the company has done, particularly with Mark Burdick and the entire team for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. And obviously hit a hurdle this year with the untimely passing of B.E. Taylor and not having the Christmas concert as we've normally had in the past. And just, I, I think the way the community came through from the high schools, the preschools, the community in general, the businesses, you know, it was just a, a wonderful showing of what it means to live here in Indiana County. Absolutely. The concert would have been December the 17th. But for one extraordinary day on December the 16th, as we were wrapping up the final day of our downtown Indiana broadcast from the 700 shop, uh, and we should really have Josh Rosenberger here this morning too, because without him providing that space and all of the extra work that he does to make that broadcast happen, uh, a big salute today to Josh Rosenberger. But on that day, um, and, and Bob Marcus, you were the one who sort of initiated this this year. Um, you said that you would match up to $5,000 the donations made that day. Senator White heard about it and said, wait a second, I'm not letting Marcus get all the credit here. He said, I'll do 5000 and Representative Reed said, I'll do 5000 as well. What a great and, and special thing that you initiated with this, 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 uh, this wonderful teddy bear fund drive year. Well, I, I uh, was inspired <laughs> by a number of things, actually. Um, you know, we'd advertised for B. Taylor before Marcus and Mac did and uh, was glad to help out with that. Uh, with his uh, untimely passing, uh, it did put a lot of strain on the uh, the whole effort. And my daughter had been very involved at the uh, high school level uh, as, uh, for her SGA uh, student government uh, work. They raised uh, more more money every year, and this was going to be a, a special year for them. And uh, about that time, two things happened. I got a I I, I I think it was on Facebook. There was a letter that B. Taylor's wife wrote about how special that concert that they gave up here was and it, it, uh, it was a tearjerker and uh, you know I really felt it personally as to uh, what they were missing and, and what the community was ending up missing not any, having that money and then you guys put out a, uh, a flyer that uh, basically I saw about uh, hey you could sponsor a day so I just simply said well I'll do that I'd like to sponsor a day and the the rest is history. I mean, th that, this thing blew up. It was, uh, uh, I think you have the final total for, for raising one day. But look, you know, I'm glad just to participate. You have, uh, you know, the uh, representative Dave Reed and, and uh, uh, Senator White. Uh, it just goes to show, you know, from the top down, and people came in and, and gave pennies, and we were able to, to give more. But uh, collectively, what you got was a lot of people participating in one day, and it, it, uh, it's uh, very nice of you to commemorate it, really. That's the true Glad spirit. Glad to participate. True spirit of the fun drive. On that day, donations raised at the 700 shop on December the 16th were $7,200. And each of you three gentlemen contributing $5,000 in matching funds uh, and that made the total for one day $22,200 to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. Senator White, I know for years and years uh, the Teddy Bear Fund Drive has been special to you, and, and you've always been there for it, and, and we're so appreciative of that. Well, let's, let's face it, without Randa Broadcasting and your dedication to this cause, and you've been doing it for how many years? This is the 37th, yeah. or 38. Um, that's paved the road, and David and I I'm pretty sure we made a pledge of 5000 a couple of years back. So timing is everything, because that, um, that particular day, I think we only raised 1500 bucks. Hmm. Uh, I think that was two years ago. So <clears throat> with Bob and his daughter actually setting off a uh, set a great tone, and I think everybody understood that the loss of that concert was a big part of our annual fundraising. And uh, I was glad that Bob 
set the standard. And like you said, I wasn't going to let him just take all the credit. So uh, Dave and I jumped in and it's work, worked out great. And you've probably had years where you raised more money, but uh, what could have been didn't happen. Yeah. And that's really nice. And I salute uh, Renda. You guys have been uh, uh, just super supporters. And I don't know if even you realize what an impact that's had in our community and our hospital. Well, it's more than $2 million raised over the years uh, for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, which began as the Children's Hospital Fund Drive, and uh, now is known as the Teddy Bear Fund Drive to benefit the pediatrics unit at IRMC and the Free Care Fund at uh, Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh. Representative Reed, of course, uh, you, uh, you have a piece of paper over there uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to say you're on the wrong side of 6th Street. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it, it's good, good that that side of Sixth Street is now represented so well. Well, I'm I'm glad to just finally drop off the check for you. I've been holding on to this forever. I just, I, it seemed like I didn't have the opportunity to come down here and, and present it to you. So I'm happy to hand over five thousand dollars in support of the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. As Senator White had mentioned, you know, just uh, such an effort over I think you th said thirty eight years now, mm -hmm. which is hard to believe considering I guess that's how long I've been alive. 38 years. And we knew you were coming, so we thought you were start that. <laughs> and I, I remember contributing as a student in Homer Center as a kid. You know, when our student government association used to raise money to support the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. And, you know, at the time it was just a, a fun sort of an event uh, to help raise money with your classmates. And you knew it was going to a good cause. But now, you know, a little bit later on in life, having young children of myself and seeing the impact it has with the pediatric care unit here in Indiana and also the Children's Hospital down in Pittsburgh. I think it, it just means so much and you know to see our community come out and support uh, kids who maybe are not having the brightest day uh, in their lives is uh, such a wonderful opportunity for uh, to show the good in society uh, when sometimes all we do is focus on the bad. So Todd, happy to present you with $5,000. You better give it to that guy in the suit over there. Okay. Mr. Birdie just came into the studio. And he's, he's much more reliable in handling money. There you me. go, Mark. Thanks. That's my wife. She'll tell you. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. And I wish there were more of us here at the moment that could uh, give you an appropriate round of applause. So, just so you know, on that week of collecting money from the 700 shop, and with the help of $800 and coming from Josh Rosenberger the following day on Saturday, Josh, again, we thank you so much. Uh, at the 700 shop in downtown Indiana, $27,000 was raised during that week for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. Mark, you can come over the microphone just for a second because I know how much it means to you to have these three gentlemen, but all of the people who give the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, which technically just closed the other day, um, and we're setting up the final, but, uh, the, the final presentations of the checks and everything, that'll come probably later this month. But uh, this Fund Drive in this year probably is... Well, we know that it's different from other fund drives because of the B.E. Taylor circumstances, mm -hmm. but it really was unique in the way that the people rallied around the Teddy Bear Fund Drive this year. It was. Uh, I think Bob, if I'm remembering right, I was on vacation, right, and the phone rang. What the heck's Bob Marcus calling for? Or maybe it was when I got back. I can't remember. Exactly. Jeez, it's been three months. How can I? I <laughs> it's a long time ago. But yeah, you know, Todd, I think I said in an email to you that it kind of reminded me, here we are in the hometown of Jimmy Stewart with the museum right across the street from us and the end of the movie Wonderful Life where everybody comes running in to help George and throwing money on the table and throwing money on the table and you look at our situation with I know coming in I listened to uh, the comments about the loss of our good friend and uh, B.E. Taylor and the loss of the concert and what that meant to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive it was like here comes Bob, here comes uh, Senator Don White, here comes State Representative Dave Reed, but that was $15,000, and we were looking for matches. If we end up with $2,000, now maybe knowing these guys, they still uh, end up giving more than $2,000, but think about it, it's only $8,000, but we end up with $7,200, with their matches of 15, as you said, 22 too. So the people coming in like the end of the movie and putting money on the table, and early in the morning, I think it was on our affiliate station, Cat Country, um, listening, and Andy was talking about the matches, and uh, our friend Mario Luther must have been listening because the phone rings. He said, hey, I want to be part of Friday. I want to make a personal contribution for $1,000 to get you going. So I went right over to the 700 shop, and we made that announcement. But 
Uh, and then at the end of the day, we had a lady come in from Glen Campbell. She was worried that we were not going to get over $5,000. And she comes in with a check of uh, $1,000, all the way from Glen Campbell. Oh, my goodness. And um, in between, there were $5,200 that uh, came in uh, up at the 700 shop. And uh, just to echo your comments, too, I want to thank Josh Rosenberger for his outstanding uh, support and opening up his window for our broadcast, what we call old time radio. And that's Saturday where he donated $800. Bruce Weber, one of our senior reps, uh, is in the room. I was out. That was the ice storm we had. So mm -hmm. we're slip sliding our way, collecting some extra dollars on that Saturday. So, But that Friday was just fantastic. I can't thank these uh, gentlemen enough. They, they talk about our role, but what about their own role? in making our community tick. So Senator Don White, State State Representative Dave Reed, our House Majority Leader, and Bob Marcus, thank you so much. And Margo worked with my nephew Michael over at Indiana High School, heard those comments too. What an outstanding young lady she is. Thank you. And, and next year, uh, because we're always trying to come up with something new, uh, oh, we'll, these three in concert are going to be fantastic. I was going to say, we'll do that or a tag team. We'll get Rosenberger here and we'll have a tag team sumo wrestling match. I don't know. I mean, I think Don has the bass, you know, the voice. Uh, Bob, I don't know. What would are you? He's a baritone. Baritone? He's a baritone. Then that, baritone. There's a tenor over here, I guess, or a soprano. <laughs> <laughs> well, the youngest one in the group, he really gets the he gets. Well, the we'd have to probably it? have him as our lead, uh, you know, the lead guy on the front of the stage there because somebody has to woo those girls from the county exactly court. What it is. You know how BC, he'd be the new BC. <laughs> and hey, there is a chance, we don't know what percent, I'm not even going to say, but I've had conversations with Dan Taylor about them uh, doing a 20th, uh, it was going to be the 20th anniversary show for B.E. Taylor. Uh, there's a chance they may do a 20th uh, anniversary tribute show. So we'll see what happens. I've, I've had conversations uh, in the past couple of weeks, and B.C. Uh, was touring in Canada with a, a, a band out of L.A., so when he got back, they were supposed to talk more. And We hope it comes to... Uh, to fruition, but if it doesn't, we may look at a couple of other acts to bring in around Christmas time, and we'll see how that all plays out. But we'll worry about that in the next month or two. Uh, for now, thank you to all you guys. Absolutely, and and we are so grateful to you. And and if the concert doesn't happen next year, we've got folks like this all around Indiana County that are making things happen for the Teddy Bear Fun Drive. Senator White, Bob Marcus. Dave Reed, thank you so much for being with us here this morning. I said to the listeners earlier this morning that with everything going on in Harrisburg right now, I needed to get the two of you in here, and we, we needed to talk legislative matters and things of interest to our listeners. We'll have to get that done uh, because there are so many things out there happening right now, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can arrange and uh, get the two of you in here. The Teddy Bear Fund Drive, thanks to these three gentlemen here and all of the folks uh, who contributed during that particular week and on that one day, Friday, December 16th, is $22,200 uh, further along in uh, reaching out to the Indiana Regional Medical Center, Pediatrics Ward, and Children's Hospital, Pittsburgh. March back at the microphone. You see how the, the mind of this guy works. We get this every day. Well, Things keep going around in his mind and all of a sudden they're... Uh, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to say earlier, uh, and I think they're aware of this, but Senator White touched on it, that it would have been a lot worse situation without that particular Friday. But we're very proud that we've exceeded $100,000 for the fourth straight year. And uh, we're more than just a couple thousand beyond 100000 We're not going to get to 131, which was our record. But uh, we made a nice run up against it. And uh, thanks to these three gentlemen in the community and our staff, we're very proud of that. Gentlemen, thank you so very much. Thanks to everyone who's contributed to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive. As we said, we will get the uh, final date set and the check presentation. That ceremony will be happening, and we're looking forward to that and spending a, a wonderful time. Uh, usually we do that in the cafeteria at the Indiana Regional Medical Center. We'll see if uh, that will be the location again this year. Those things take arranging.